Hey, neighbor. <sighs> so your question of the day was, what games are a day one buy for me? Games that I have to get them on the first day just because I need to play them so badly. So I wanted to just like super cop out and pick FIFA, but this past FIFA, I didn't get it right when it came out. So I don't know that I'm 100% gonna buy it the first day. I've been uh, playing a football manager game on my iPad and it's basically the same thing, except I don't have to play the game. It just like simulates it and I manage behind the scenes. And I think I like that more than actually playing the games. Just the games obviously get super repetitive because you're doing the same thing over and over again. And I don't let myself lose, so I back out and play the same team 55 times until I beat them with 60 overall players and they have all 90 overall players. But you know, what was I saying? Day one buys. So I really, really wanted to like Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order, but I want to say the character list isn't as big as I, I had assumed it would be. I don't know, I feel like there's only like 20 playable characters and there's like 20 Avengers. Like how did you not get all of them in the game? You could have had like 55 million X-Men. There's like a trillion of them. And like the Inhumans are in it too, so I, I just, I don't know, maybe I didn't see the full list and there's more. I feel like it's just gonna be like, oh, you can get these characters with DLC. You can get these characters with DLC. You can get these characters with DLC. And it, just give me the full game. How was that difficult? I mean, I was super excited about Banjo-Kazooie being in Smash Brothers, but I don't know that I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really plan on spending more money on a game that I already bought. That's like something I'm super against. Like, even with the Call of Duty, like, I only bought the first DLC pack. That was a game I put a million years of my life into. I just don't think that that's something I like doing. I spent $60 on this game. Give me the full experience. I, I mean, I'm definitely excited about uh, Star Wars. Was it Fall of the Jedi Order? Fallen Order? Something like that? I don't remember. Uh, the, the gameplay was probably... I don't know. It seems like... It might end up being super repetitive. I know there was that one part where uh, you force pull the stormtrooper and have the laser gun shot, shoot him in the back of the head. I mean, that's cool the first time you do it. And other than that, it's just going to be like sword play. I think that's why I stopped playing Kingdom Hearts was because I played for 12 hours straight and then didn't want to play anymore because it was just pressing the same button over and over again and then using cure to cure myself. And it's like, I want to be excited about Halo Infinite too, but it's just, I think Halo has passed me by, probably. I think the, the thing that I'm most excited for is Call of Duty because there's a possibility that I might end up playing with people. And that's always cool. Like I, I have a game that I'm gonna be playing with, but I'm also concerned it's like, oh, there's only gonna be a, so long of a, a window for this game because the next gen consoles are coming out, so. Am I going to have to buy the game twice? Or is that next year that I'm going to have to buy a game twice? I think we were, we were talking about um, Mario Kart 8 when I was home this past weekend because we were playing. And I was like, oh, well, I don't, I don't want to buy Mario Kart 8 if they're going to come out with a new game. And then you said, oh, they're not going to come out with another one for the Switch because this is already here. But it's like, this isn't a Wii U game. Why are we sticking with a Wii U game on the next-gen console? I just... I guess maybe the definitely the only 100% day one buy game that I can think of is, is Pokemon. Um, I'm about to pre-order it because I saw that a plushie comes with it. Maybe I'm getting too old. Maybe that's what's happening. I'm not really all that excited about video games anymore. Although I play them all the time. I remember the first year I moved down here, I basically went pretty much a whole year without playing video games. So I was living in a very small apartment without windows. <laughs> and I didn't really have time to play video games because I was working like 12 hour days and it took me two hours to commute. So anytime that I had, I was like cooking and then going to sleep. 
maybe spending some time with some friends, but not really. So my question of the day is, besides obviously Sony, what is this E3 missing? What wasn't announced that you were expecting or did you really want to get an update from, from a previous E3 or previous announces? Let me know. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to check in every weekday for another episode of the 90s vlog. You can follow me on Twitter at 90sguykev. You can follow Tom on Twitter at 90sguytom. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90s guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, Tom.